you should know that i always feel happy to have you watching me here and uh, today in our introduction to organic chemistry 3 we're going to look into uh, hydrocarbons and uh, hydrocarbons are binary compounds of carbon and hydrogen only and we normally have a simple general uh, formula we normally use for it as cxhy where this uh, x is the number of carbon present per molecule and y is the number of hydrogen present per molecule examples of these hydrocarbons include methane we have ethane we have ethane we have ethane we have propane there are other more and we need to look into the sources of this hydrocarbon how can we get all these things there uh, the sources of hydrocarbons include crude oil or what we all know as petroleum we have coal, we have natural gas. I'm still going to talk about the crude oil, but for now, let's just pause it. Let's go for classification of hydrocarbons. We have it as aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons. Those hydrocarbons with no benzene ring, uh, we call them aliphatic. And we have two types of these aliphatic. We have alicyclic and cyclic uh, aliphatic hydrocarbons. And uh, examples of these uh, aliphatic hydrocarbons include arcanes, 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 cycloarcane, and cycloarcanes. That uh, those are actually the example. Those are examples of aliphatic hydrocarbons. And I said earlier that these aliphatic hydrocarbons are divided into two. And we have them alicyclic and cyclic hydrocarbons. So we go. Okay, it will be good for us to look at what we mean by alicyclic hydrocarbons or, and what we mean by cyclic hydrocarbons. They actually, those um, aliphatic hydrocarbons that have no ring or close ring bond. Uh, that means that there is an um, example supposed to be the arcanes, arcanes, and arcanes. This cyclo has to do with the cyclic. The cyclo means cycle or closed or ring or just ring. Or that. Uh, therefore, examples of them include... The saturated alicyclic hydrocarbon uh, we are talking about uh, is just akin, and the unsaturated alicyclic hydrocarbons are actually akins and uh, akins. That's for that. Okay, let's go for cyclic hydrocarbons. Cyclic hydrocarbons is a ring like hydrocarbon, but it is not the ring like of that of benzene. The benzene ring is different from this cyclic aliphatic hydrocarbons. Therefore, examples of them include cycloarcanes and cycloarcanes. Okay, let's go for aromatic hydrocarbon. It's just very, very simple. The aromatic hydrocarbons are those hydrocarbons that have at least one benzene ring in each molecule. We have something like benzene, we have something like methylbenzene as examples. Let's look at one of the sources of uh, the hydrocarbons, which is the major source of hydrocarbons, crude oil. Crude oil is formed from remains of plants and animals, acted upon by bacteria and other microorganisms in the absence of very limited supply of oxygen under high pressure and temperature. And this is actually uh, a process that has taken long, about a million years. What happened here is that those uh, Plants and animal, you know, plants is made up of carbon and uh, animal is also made up of carbon and hydrogen inside it. Uh, as there are absence of oxygen, most of the converted uh, form become like oil, which is made up of mostly carbon and hydrogen. And the remaining converted oil, what happens to it is that it goes down to be under the seed beds covered by salt, sand and uh, little rocks and there is uh, equipment that is used by the geophysicists and uh, geologists uh, called seismometer uh, it is actually used to find the location of oil it is actually based on sound it's actually based on sound and when this thing is being gotten the next thing that they do is after the exploration the next thing they go for is to drill the oil and take it to refineries and I'm going to have a simple uh, table that shows 
the fractions that are being gotten from uh, fractional distillation of crude oil, the possible number of carbon that might be there, the boiling point range that might be there, and the uses. Note that this crude oil in the note that this crude oil in the refinery, what happened here is that we use the fractional distillation of uh, the crude oil. This method of separation of the fractions is based on the boiling point of the fractions. They are very very close to one another. Therefore, because of the boiling point being close to one another, that is why the fractionating column is used so that it can be able to separate those that are not uh, have not reached that particular uh, temperature. So we are going to look at the fractions, number of carbon, boiling point and uses of the fractions. Okay, uh, this is just a, a simple way of representing this. Petroleum gas, the number of carbon is lying between 2 and 4, and the boiling point is highest is 40 degrees Celsius. And the, it is mostly used for domestic fuel polymerization material, that is like etin, uh, 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 propene, they can use to get something like polyethene, uh, etc. The same goes with gasoline or petroleum. The number of carbon there is 5 to 9 and the boiling point is between 40 to 70 degrees Celsius. Mostly used for domestic fuel, for cars, scooters, engine combustion fuel. That is the major reason why it is used. You know, the scooters and the cars make use of that. Kerosene, we have between 10 to 12 number of carbon and that is between 70 to 250 degrees Celsius. That is kerosene that we make use in the stove. Uh, local stove that we make use of uh is still i still believe some people are still making use of that here in nigeria domestic fuel aircraft propellers sometimes people doubt that they use kerosene for aircraft pro, uh, propeller well i need you to know that yes it is we have diesel oil uh lying between carbon 13 to 15 and the boiling point is between 250 degree to 350 degree Celsius and it is mostly used for truck fuel and generator fuel and if you go for fuel oil we have between 15 to 17 and 350 degree to 400 400 degree Celsius and we normally use it for lightning and heating and mostly serve as solvent for the residue oil we have so many of them we have about three one is the lubricating oil it is a thick vicious oil uh, a mixture of hydrocarbons that lies between 17 to 20 and mostly used for lubricating machines and cars that is the major reason for this is for lubrication uh, we have another one that has to do with paraffin was that's paraffin was it look whitish and semi-solid in nature and uh, it's mostly used in Vaseline making and ointment making used in making of candles used as grease. It can also be make use in production of match sticks and uh, other comestic uh, places. If you go for the bitumen, the bigger, biggest among them, uh, that is a number of carbon is higher, like uh, the bitumen we have over from 30 above, we normally use it for road construction. We need to look into cracking. Cracking came as a result of uh, too much need of uh, the lower uh, fractions of petroleum. Something like the fuel, you know, we are having much of cars around us and our generators, little generators are actually making use of fuel, uh, that is the gasoline, petrol. And uh, therefore, because of this, there's much need for this petrol. What the chemists do is they try to convert those higher uh, carbon content to reduce them back to look more like petrol so that we can be able to have more of petrol and The only way to do that is what we call cracking one have to understand that this cracking is not only by heat uh, We also have the catalytical part of it where uh, this uh, Have been done using catalyst despite there is still heat on it and we will look at the next thing we are going to look into is reformation when I was discussing this uh, in my previous video, I tried to tell you that the boiling point of this will be higher than this and be higher than this. This will be lower than this because of there are so many uh, branch chain. And because this has a lower uh, boiling point, it boils or it's combust. It, 
because this have a lower boiling point it will burn faster than this this will burn faster than this now this is going to be the faster because it have two uh branches material material here but this one only have only one material at position two do you get me now we are going to apply the same idea in reformation Formation converts stretch chain petrol to branch chain petrol. This aid in removing the knocking tendency of petrol in engines. There sometimes some petrol will not burn well. It will not allow the pistol to heat up and burn um, in the engine. Therefore, if we have a, a stretch chain, we may be having more of that. But if we have those petrol being converted to be branch chain, an isomer of the same petrol, an isomer of the same pe petrol, but here you have a lower boiling point and able to burn faster. If we have something like that, it's also going to improve what we mean by octane rating. Octane rating has to do with the anti knocking effect, the ability of uh, a petrol to burn very well in engine. So that is the reason for reformation. Now, if for instance you are to define octane rating, Octane rating is the measure of petrol performance in combustion engines. In this, uh, we take the end point and all the ends are always in the group of the zero uh, rated as zero uh, because it has no branch chain. But anyone that has branch chain is rated higher. Mostly anyone that have more than two branch chain is even rated to be up to 100 like 224 trimethyl pentane is rated to be 100. Okay, that means that the rating of uh, 224 trimethylpentane is 100. Thank you, thank you very much for watching this video to this extent. And I am very, very glad that you have been here with me. And I believe that you are growing in your understanding of organic chemistry. Remember, this is just an introduction to organic chemistry. Don't forget to click your notification bell so that you will be updated on my new video and don't forget to subscribe the subscription is to help me to be relevant in youtube and don't forget to comment ask your questions it's very very necessary you can ask your question i can respond to you as you can see my number on the screen